If you guys recall, earlier this spring, I headed down to the 11 Point River right after I graduated high school. As soon as I got down there, I knew that I had to head back with my buddy to show him how cool it was. The 11 Point is truly a special place and a very wild and a very scenic place true to its name. Hope you guys enjoy this video of me and my buddy floating and fishing the 11 Point. What is going on folks? Welcome back to another video. We got a pretty exciting one for you today. Here with my guy Tim. Down here on the famous 11 Point River. We, uh, we and Tim are actually both heading off for college in the next week here. But we're like, you know what? We're going to do one last send, one last Missouri adventure. So we're down here on the famous 11 Point River. We're pretty excited. It is Sunday afternoon. Drove down today. It's about 5.30. So I drove down. Not a bad drive. It was long. It was long. Pretty windy. But uh. Down, down here, we're going to explore the uh, Greer Spring first. Well, we've never been there, and it's a pretty cool spring. It's like, you say second largest in Missouri? Yep. And eighth in the country or something like that? Ten. Ten in the country. Tenth in the country. So, yeah, it should be a cool, pretty cool spring. Just a short hike, and then we're going to hop over to our camp, eat some dinner. So, uh, yeah. See, let's check out this spring and see what that's about. All right, folks. Well, we made it to the spring. It's pretty freaking cool, not going to lie. What do you think, Tim? So cool. Oh. This honestly yeah, is pretty it. sick. This is where, uh, yeah, this is how the trout, oh, I got my sunglasses. This is how the trout survive in the 11 point. So, before the spring comes into the river down there a ways, it's just, 11 point basically just a tiny creek, but since this is just moving so much water, it's just going straight into the river and it's cold enough for trout to live in. That's so freaking cool. That's awesome. Gotta come check it out, folks. Well, folks, we just got to our campsite for the night. It's it's pretty freaking cool. What do you think, Tim? It's quite amazing out here, folks. It is, in fact, quite amazing. Let me just show you guys what we're dealing with real quick. So we got our little pick a tip here. We'll, we'll fire pit. Kind of a walk here. Kind of a walk. There's a road right here. And then, uh, wah bam The river's freaking right here, guys. And we are seeing trout rise um, pretty much everywhere. So... Yeah, we are gonna get the rods rigged up real quick so we can get on some, hopefully, some dry fly action. They're surfacing all over. I know. Over. Hopefully, we can get on some dry fly action before the evening's over, Bob. Look at that. Just look at that fog, guys. That is so freaking sick. All right. There's no one else here, folks. We're all alone. It's crunch time. Let's go, time. Let's go. All right, folks. Got our stuff rigged up. I know what the evening's here now. Got our stuff rigged up. Um, about an hour of daylight left. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can film Tim getting a cool dry fly here. All right, we got Chef Tim back at camp here, chefing up. Timmy, tell us what we got for uh, for dinner here. Just tearing up some stew meat and butter. Shout out to Stewart Farm, Wildwood Farmer's Market for the hookup. You guys are great. Grass fed? 100%. 100% grass fed, that's what we like to hear. All right, well, uh, yeah, fishing, fishing was a bust. Um, I can't hold that. Yeah, fishing night was a bust. Um, it was weird. We realized there's a white ribbon trout area so people can catch and take them out here. So I imagine this gets cleaned out pretty quick once the uh, once they stock it. But it's all right. Still a good night. Beautiful night at camp. Look forward to eating this. I'm pretty dang hungry. All right, folks. Just finished, just finished crushing dinner. It's about um, 9 o'clock. We are getting surrounded by bugs. So uh, we're going to go to sleep. We're pretty tired. Big day tomorrow. We're floating. So, uh, yeah, that being said... See y'all in the morning. Good morning, folks. Welcome to day two. Um, so it is the morning, as you can tell. It's about 6.45 right now. Um, our shuttle's coming to pick us up at 7 to a float. But as you can tell, it's, uh, it's raining pretty hard right now. And it rained pretty freaking hard last night. Um, like, all the water out of the sky at once. <laughs> it was a lot of rain. Um, a lot of lightning. We were all good. We were safe. But, um, yeah, so it rained pretty hard last night. The river is fine. The river was low to begin with. Um, and it's such a big river, it doesn't get blown out really with a bunch of rain, which is good. But as you can see, in these puddles, it did rain pretty fair piece. So, see so yeah, that affects fishing. Um, 
We have no servers either, so we have no idea when it's supposed to stop raining, how long it's supposed to rain for, if it's supposed to rain again. So that'll be exciting to see. But uh, yeah, shuttle's coming about 15 minutes to pick us up, so we gotta get our stuff together and uh, shuttle up the river and start fishing. Hopefully, it'll be a good day. Hopefully, we'll help fish in a little bit. A little squirming when we action would be my guess. So we'll see. But should be a good day. All right, folks, we're at the boat right now. We got, just got dropped off by our uh, shuttle. Really nice guy, but uh, he got here earlier <laughs> than we were expecting. So, uh, like, right when I stopped that last video, saying, like, we'll get ready soon, he, like, he showed up. So we had to hustle and muscle get all of our stuff together. Um, already figured out a few things we forgot, but we'll probably be all right. But got the canoe here. We got Timbo getting ready. Uh, yeah, should be a good day. The rain is finally starting to back off. It's been raining. It was just raining pretty hard, actually. Um... But yeah, so it should be a good day. We're gonna, it's about 8 o'clock right now. It's probably on the water about 50 minutes or so here. And uh, get going. I'm pretty freaking excited, guys. This should be fun. Um, so yeah, we will uh, see you guys out on the water. I'm not sure how filming in a canoe is gonna go. I haven't tried that before. Obviously, not gonna take the big camera like out, you know, out there, but I'll have the GoPro on the chest. So we'll see. All right, folks, first hookup of the day. Oh, balls. That sucks. We already about to leave this spot. I'm like, let me just catch that one more time. And uh, he ate it. I don't know how big he was. He felt kind of nice, but he was swimming against the current too. So, well, it's good. At least fish are biting. There we go. I do, yeah. Holy crap, dude, it's freaking beautiful. Sir, dude, look at this rainbow. Oh my God. All right, that's first fish of the day. You see this thing, Tim? Yeah, I saw it. Ah, sorry. I That is what we came here for, folks. That is awesome. Holy crap. On none other than Pat's rubber legs. Alrighty. Thanks, sir. See you later. There go, folks. Got a second, second fish of the day here, though. There he is. Beautiful little bow. We'll take him all day. Oh, yeah. What's up, buddy? Got him in this kind of like, oh, chill, well, chill. In this like slow moving water, kind of. All right, see you later, buddy. Oh, he's chilling. There we go. Been a hot minute since we caught one here, folks. Not gonna lie, it's uh, oh, Tim got one. Is that a fish? Oh, um, it's just been slow. Not sure what's been going on, but uh, yeah, that guy chomped the pack, so need another one here. Like I said, using this just kind of slow moving at this big, big run, um, kind of in the swimming water, just drifting down. Guy's a head shake. Goodness gracious. Oh, oh, oh. Easy, easy, buddy. That'd be a little better fish, guys. Holy crap, that's a nice fish. It's not a bad fish at all, guys. Hey, Timmy, will you help me out? Tim! Can you help me out here? Will you help me out? This guy's a fighter, holy crap. This 
guy's a freaking fighter. Oh, crap. Chill, buddy. Strong fish, bro. It's a really strong fish. Oh my gosh, she's not giving up. It's hard for how much a strong fish. Ain't that big, but ain't that big. I thought he was kind of big, bro. No, he's big, but like, <laughs> for how big he is. I know, yeah. Fighting that hard. Holy crap, dude. Get out to him. <laughs> he doesn't like me. He does not like you there, no. Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, pretty freaking awesome fish here. Just an 11 point beautiful wild bow right there. That is an awesome fish. Goodness gracious. Never get tired of these fish. Never do. That's awesome. Again, thank you, buddy. You've been good to me. Let's go. Baby. Let's go. All right, folks, so that's what we came here for. That was an awesome fish. First nice fish today, I'd say. We haven't had some pretty, pretty small fish so far, but hopefully we get a bunch more of uh, those guys. Another really nice bow here. Oh, these things are so fun, dude. They fight pretty freaking hard, too. Go folks, it's a stunner. Stunner of a fish. Guy, this is fun, guys. This is, oh my gosh, he choked Pat. Look at that, bro. <laughs> Look at that. He one of the stone fry. Let's just say that. Oh, there he goes. Well uh self-release action there. I'm not sure where he's going. He's going in the shallow water. But uh yeah, it's good fish. Good old path through the legs. You can't really beat it. I'm not gonna lie, guys. That's a that's definitely the fly I've caught the most fish on. Something about stone flies in Missouri. Not sure what it is. <coughs> the fish freaking love it though. Not a bad fish here, folks. We're doing pretty good today, guys. This is freaking awesome fishing. I actually just lost two like pretty good ones right here, but just got this guy. And he is not wanting to give up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Just, just give up, bro. Just chill, bro. I'm gonna let you go. I don't think he knows that, though. But he is fighting his head off. This is crazy, guys. These rainbows are super far hot. Super far hiders. <laughs> oh, beautiful rainbow. Oh my gosh, guys. This is just freaking gorgeous fish. Floppy fish, too. Unhooked yourself though, that's hype. Such a beautiful fish, guys. Orange tip fin. Can't ask for much more. See you, buddy. He was so hot and bothered. I probably would be too if I was caught. Yeah, this is freaking awesome, guys. Let me show you guys our rig here. I don't know if I actually showed you. So, got our bead head pants rubber legs. There's some black and kind of like dark green legs and Little red purple CDC Pertagon. This has been not just a combination, just anywhere I go in Missouri. 
this is pretty much where I throw, guys. And it is provided pretty dang well for these Missouri fish. I don't know if this combo is just specific to Missouri or why it works, but oh, there's a little otter right there. That's cool. Kind of cool. It's like killing all the fish. Oh, that's a little musket. A little musket. That's up there. But uh, yeah, this combo has worked really, pretty much anywhere for me, Missouri. Going somewhere I don't know, that's what I throw. And it typically works pretty well for me. Got a foul hook? What's going on there? What's going on there? <laughs> My guess is he ate Pat and it slipped in it. I don't have a net. Sorry about that, buddy. Oh, I got it. Well, folks, a beautiful wild boat here. Not ideally how you want to hook them. I don't know how I did that. How about that, though? God, these things are pretty. See you, buddy. My guess is he ate Pat and then slipped off, and then the bird caught him in the stomach. Not on purpose, I promise, guys. Don't destroy me in the comments, okay? Oh yeah. He's on pads. Good little guy, what's up buddy? How you doing? He's not that little. Wow, that's right in the top of the shot. That's like perfect. See you, buddy. All right, folks, a little uh, midday update for you. It is approximately 11.19 right now. Um, doing pretty good. Dan, going super slow. Definitely not gone a mile yet. Um, yeah. Taking our time. Taking our time. But yeah, caught a fair amount of fish, so... We'll go see. We're gonna try and float and fish for a little bit, see how that goes. Might get a little western on us, but we'll see. A little bow on here, guys. Guys, these, these guys actually fight so hard. Holy crap! This one's not even that big. <laughs> this one is not even that big of a fish, and it is like kicking my butt. I did, it just took me to the reel. That is ridiculous, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. This is freaking awesome, guys. Okay, it's a little bigger fish than I thought. Not, not a tiny fish. But. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh, guys. Are you freaking kidding me? This fish is actually ridiculous how pretty it is. I don't have my phone or anything on me. I would, take, I would take a better picture. But I hope you guys can see how pretty this fish is. This is just ridiculous. Ooh, unhooked himself too. Look at that. All right, I'm going to stop the video to take a picture of this fish on my GoPro, guys, because it's so freaking pretty. Be right back. Alrighty. See you later, sir. Oh, much appreciated. There he goes. Guys, my race has not been the smoothest today, but uh, I'm getting back okay. Oh, this is awesome, guys. He came on none other than Pat's rubber legs. So he was here, surprised. Not me. Oh, 
Oh, he came on the old Zuggy buggy. Just switched that. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. Um, so like purple head Zug bug. What's up, buddy? Golly, you are beautiful too. You are just absolutely gorgeous. And look at that fish, guys. Get in on that, those colors. Holy crap. This is pretty awesome. Yeah, let's see what it this river is pretty freaking cool guys, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is a pretty freaking cool river. I'll show you guys what he came on here. So again, still fishing pats up top. He came on this little purple slug bug. Like a lightning bug kind of, just anything really. Mayfly-ish. Mayfly with a purple head I guess. Not sure. Oh, my buddy got one. There we go. Atta boy. All right, folks, we had ourselves a pretty good day here in the little point. It's been a minute since we got a fish, but this beauty just came up and chopped the old stone fly. That is just 11 point river beauty right there. Cannot ask for more awesome fish. That is just awesome. All right, let's get a picture of him and let him go. See you later. See you tomorrow. He's good, right? Hey, Sean. Tell us a fish. Let's go, baby. That's sick. Eventually. <laughs> well, folks, we are back from our float, as you can tell. Um, yeah, it was a really good day, I gotta say. Um, I don't know how many fish I caught. It was a lot, though. It was a pretty good day. We were chomping on Pat. Pretty dang good. Um, couldn't ask for a better weather day. Besides it, like, pouring buckets last night. The river did not come up at all. It's like, I don't know, maybe 80 degrees right now. Um, so... It's a freaking awesome day. Could not have thought a better way to end to to end the summer. Pretty dang good trip. Um, so I hope this this might be the last adventure of the actual summer because we're both me and Tibber heading off to college this week, sadly. So uh, well, you're that's your next week, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I'm this week. So uh, should I get this uploaded before I head off to college? Well, we don't know, but we will see. Hopefully, but uh. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, tuning in and just uh, tuning in for the, the whole summer. It's been a pretty dang good summer of uh, fly fishing. So, uh, Timmy, any uh, any parting words for the the viewers? It's been fun, folks. We will be back. We'll be back. See y'all later.